Hello, my name is Tavi Maliberg. I'm the CEO of Skeleton Technologies, the leading European developer and manufacturer of ultracapacitors. Today I'm here to talk about what are the advantages of being a lawyer in graphene materials development. Ultracapacitors excel in capturing and releasing vast amounts of energy in a short time frame like breaking energy in transportation and releasing it while accelerating in order to provide fuel savings. All the capacitors have 60 times higher power density than the lithium-ion batteries. And if a conventional battery has a few thousand life cycles, all the capacitors can go to one million, so 500 times more, and 30 times less energy is lost as heat. But due to lower energy density, alta capacitors are not direct competitors to batteries. We are complementary devices where you take the peak power from the alta capacitors and the long-term energy from the battery. Skeleton Technologies was founded in 2009. We employ 30 people. Uh, total capital raised up to date is 11.6 million euros. We have developed a graphene-based technology platform which allows to lower the volume of the devices by a factor of four and reduce the production cost by 50%. Our customers include European Space Agency, defense contractors, motorsports OEMs, but also tier one automotives and electricity grids. Uh, currently, the market stands at $1 billion. What has been inhibiting further market growth is the performance and the cost of alta capacitors. By pushing our graphene-based technology to the market, we can lower the cost by 50% and provide performance enhancement by a factor of four, so we can fuel further market growth. So, um, a skeleton, um, skeleton technologies, when I go to customer meetings, I usually have uh, the issue that people address me as Dr. Muddyberg. But actually, I do not have a PhD, so people ask, but what type of engineering have you studied? I answer that the, the, the issue here is clear. I have studied law. So I have tried to find a way how to get an upper hand on all the people with the science know-how and the fancy PhDs whilst being a lawyer. So I have devised with four guiding principles for dilettants in any industry. So I would like to share them with you today. Lesson number one, there is no such thing as high tech. When I first met with uh, my scientific co-founders and asked what, what is the value of uh, graphene-based uh, technology, when we drew up a graph starting from all the capacitors, lithium-ion batteries, gas adsorption, field emission display materials, and they said that we have developed this high-tech platform, and the eyes lead up, they said, sky is the limit. I said, but I do not know much about science, but what I do know that the limiting factor is the bandwidth. And high tech is only high tech at a certain point in time. For example, synthetic rubber back in the day was considered also a high technology. Uh, so I said that, okay guys, let's follow the money because the intrinsic value of science is zero dollars. It has only value when you get the products to the market. So we chose the application which was closest to commercialization, all the capacitors, and pushed aside all the interesting development ideas. Lesson number two, do not be afraid of asking stupid questions. When we first discussed with scientists, I asked that, what is the advantage of the te technology? They said that we have 50% higher capacitance. I asked that, okay guys, who cares? And why? And what does this 50% even mean? 
So what turned out was that performance is not determined only by capacitance, but also by internal resistance and voltage tolerance. And the performance age for each different industry vertical is also different. As an example, this is a real life example for electric turbocharger. Our device weighing 180 grams has more power than the market leader's Maxwell Technologies device weighing over a half a kilo. So this comes down to cost savings because material costs count for 80% of the cost of goods sold. Uh, lesson number three, focus but do not focus. At first our advisor says that stick to the core materials technology platform which you have. When I said that, okay, this will most probably get us killed. Because we tried to firstly commercialize our technology to alta capacitor manufacturing partners, but their procurement had the narrow view. But no way we would go to their boss and say that, okay, our material costs are now two times higher, even if it would provide cost savings of 50% at the system level. So we had to expand our core focus and develop our own ultracapacitor technology. And if you would have not done it, I wouldn't be speaking here with you today. So lesson number four, if it does not make sense to you, it does not make sense, period. Uh, when we started fundraising uh, in the first time, people said that do not build a factory, do not make capital expenditures. But what, what is real life? In our uh, situation uh, with high technology, we were not able to outsource our production because that was the part what set us aside from the competitors. So we made a choice to go with building our own manufacturing capability. And another lesson here that many people said that stay away from public incentives. We are the devil. My view was that let's try to gobble up as much as financing as we can. For example, like Tesla. Elon Musk, who is hailed the capitalist and free market superhero of the day, would not be the man he is if he would not not have gotten a half a billion dollar loan from the US government at the right time. So we are not afraid of capital expenditures and also we are not afraid of public incentives. For example, our next capital round of 28 million euros has only 12 million euros in equity. So the four main guidelines for dilettants in a science-based startup First, if there is no such thing as high tech. Secondly, focus, but do not focus. Thirdly, if it does not make sense to you, it does not make sense, period. And last but not least, uh, I would encourage also the audience, do not be afraid of asking stupid questions. So thank you. <laughs>